Good morning and welcome back on into North Dakota today. The North Dakota Parks and Rec Department is celebrating the Cheyenne River Water Trail becoming a nationally delegated water trail. Mary Lee Nelson is joining me here on the couch today to share more about this. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to be here. Oh yeah, we're excited to get you on this couch for the first time. So tell me a little bit about the Cheyenne River Water Trail. The Cheyenne River Water Trail is 199 miles a trail. Wow. And we are working on getting it nationally designated. It starts north on Lake Ashtabula and goes all the way down east of Lisbon and to the Cheyenne National Grassland. Wow. So we're covering a lot of miles, but the Cheyenne River is the longest river in North Dakota that begins and ends in North Dakota. Okay. And so we're celebrating it. Yes, we are. So what does it mean to be nationally delegated? Well, to get a national designation, you, you have to have a trail that uh, is marked well, it's safe, and all these different things. And so that's what we're working on. We just have our, got our signage up on the trail. We raised over three quarters of a million dollars wow. for this, and mostly grant writing. Yeah. And so it's starting to come into place. The trail won't be fully done until next year. And so right now we're just asking people to stay on the trail on the north end of the trail where mm -hmm. we have things that are already set up. The south end is kind of primitive yet. Okay. So only experienced people should go there. Gotcha. Well, that's good to know. And of course, this process has a lot of moving parts. How long is the entire process? Oh, well, we started in 21 is oh. when the idea came up and then we started writing grants. It, it all came up when we have Cheyenne River Fest, which is coming up this weekend yeah. in Valley City. <laughs> and at the, we go to the fish hatchery and we have a three mile float into Valley City and celebrating the Cheyenne River. And after that, we thought, gosh, you know, we want to keep these people here longer. The yeah. Cheyenne River is so beautiful. And so we started talking and Aaron Gaither is down in the sh at the National Grassland. He said, why don't we make it, you know, we all started talking, Tyler Maudlin from Fort Ransom State Park and Bobby Keplin, the chairman of the byway and, we, and Scott Tiki from the Corps of Engineers all started talking and uh, said, hey, let's make this something that people can really stay in the Cheyenne Valley. Yeah, you know? so it took a lot of great minds. It did, it does. And it takes a lot of people to help, it, you know, when you're in four counties, and so mm -hmm. you have to deal with all the different city and county governments right. you know, to get to things on. When you're putting signs on roads and this type of thing, you have to have partnerships all the way through. And so it, it has one, been one big partnership and it's going well. And our, our most fun thing, I think, for someone my age, mm -hmm. we have floating docks. Ooh. where you can get it, your kayak and put it in the chute, sit in it. You don't have to get in the water and just push yourself out on the water. So and you, you can stay dry. You can stay dry the whole time if you want to. Oh my so. goodness. Well, I know kayaking is big on the river. Besides taking in the beauty, what else can you find people doing? Oh, on the river? Yeah. Well, you know, fishing has become a big thing off of kayaking too. You know, okay. the, the kayak fishermen. And the fishing has been going well in the Cheyenne River. I mean, they've been catching some bass and pike and all kinds of things and so yeah fishing but the bird watching on the river because you have more species you know near the water mm -hmm. in a lot of trees in North Dakota most of our trees are along rivers yes <laughs> and so you get a wide variety of birds so there's just many things you can do but the, I think the best thing is you just get on the river and you can just float and just look around you and say you know what look at the blue sky and say this is what should you know everyone should be able to experience this sometime and giving you a bit of pride for your state oh, too very much so you know, and we put this trail together because in Valley City we have the National Scenic Byway, mm -hmm. we have the North Country National Hiking Trail, mm -hmm. and now we're getting the water trail. So everything goes through the gate. Valley City is kind of the gateway for all three of these national trails. So you're creating so a hub. We are. That is wonderful. It's a bigger picture. Right. It's a whole Cheyenne Valley, you know, from the grasslands all the way north up to Lake Ashtabula. But we have Lisbon and Catherine and all the small towns, Fort Ransom in between. And we're hoping to help all of them. Yeah. By getting more people to come and see the beauty of the Cheyenne Valley. Oh, absolutely. And I know you touched on Riverfest coming right. up. <laughs> right. So when is that? Hey, that's this Saturday. I mean, it's coming oh, up. Oh, wow. Fast. Yeah. <laughs> and we... Uh, We'll have well over 200 kayaks on the river. Oh and you know goodness. how colorful kayaks are. It is just gorgeous when people are out there. So we just uh, encourage you to come out. You can come the day of the event and, and register and you'll get a t-shirt. And that's <laughs> one of the best parts. So where can we find more info to register? Valleycitytourism.com. Okay. It has a registration right on it. It's easy to remember. So. Yes, nice and easy. Well, thank you so much for joining me this morning, Mary Lee. Well, thank you so much for having us and we hope to see you at River 
Oktoberfest. Oh yes, and there's all that information up on your screen right now, so you can double check those dates and head on out there. All right. All right, well, stick around. Lots more fun coming up on North Dakota Today.